I've spent the last two months of my life collecting every single tropical fish variant in this game. And that was with one single purpose, to have the biggest and coolest aquarium in the entire Minecraft community. So today I'm gonna collect every single underwater mob and build them a massive aquarium, decorations, and even a secret redstone contraption. And before you ask, no, my sanity is still fine. It, it did not run out from the last video. I think we're good. I, th wait, I, th I think that right over here is kind of perfect, to be honest. I guess the first thing that I need to do is clean out all of this forest. So... Guys, I think this, this is out of control now. Um, what do I do? I'm also gonna clean all of these logs that are left over from the fire. All right, so now that we cleared out this entire area of trees, I'm still gonna have to do a lot of terraforming because I don't really think we can build a giant aquarium on this. So I guess I'm just gonna do all that by hand. And um, yeah, that's totally not gonna take five hours. Now that we have this giant flat area over here ready to build, I think it's the perfect time for me to actually explain the plan. Okay, so first of all, I want to build a giant platform, which is going to be the foundation of everything over here. Then I want to build eight small aquariums for every single water mob, except for the blue axolotl, which is going to get a giant aquarium tank in the center. I have no idea if you guys even know what I'm talking about about but um this this is kind of the plan right now so i guess that the first thing we need to build is a giant platform and when i say giant i mean giant luckily most of it is made out of cobblestone which we already have a lot from this farm over here so i'm just gonna take all of these stacks this better not despawn over here this is all the cobblestone i have we're also gonna need some magma blocks i said magma blocks not magma cubes Nice try though. And lastly, some orange concrete as well. All right, so I'm gonna get started on building this giant pedestal or whatever you wanna call it, and it hopefully doesn't take too long. All right, so that's the pedestal done, and it took me a lot longer than I am willing to admit, I gotta say. But it looks crazy, to be honest. So first of all, I have eight of these small lakes all across the edges, and these are for the casual mobs slash animals, which we're gonna capture first. And as I said before, this place over here is reserved for the blue axolotl, which we're gonna be capturing at the end and no this is not a coincidence i purposely build this next to the river so we have an easier access to all the underwater animals okay so how are we gonna get you all the way over there i wonder if i can put leads on a squid oh my god i can actually do that so i'm gonna try to build up i wonder if oh my god he's flying look at that i actually thought the lead would break but I guess that's interesting too. And yeah, that might be a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Take number two, I guess. Wait, come here, pal. Let's get you as high as possible. And now I'm just gonna jump off and hopefully pull you over. Take number three. You're fine, you're fine. You're not gonna die. Trust me, I know you just saw someone else die, but you're not gonna be the one to die. Now we jump off. You're dying. You're dying. Let me pull you up. If I'm having so much trouble with something that's so close to the aquarium, I wonder how I'm gonna get some other mobs over here. How about if we put a long water stream all the way from here to the river? I think it's working. And that is the squid captured. There's no way it despawned while I was getting the name tag. 
I got another one. And this time, you're definitely not gonna despawn. Can you stop trying to glitch out of this? You're gonna be here forever. Just accept it, bro. It's gonna be way easier. Oh my god, imagine if the neighbors are listening and they think I'm holding someone hostage in real life. Anyways, the next one that I'm gonna capture is the puffer fish, and I don't think that should be that hard. To be completely honest, I don't really know where you can find them. For example, I don't know if they are just here or do I need to find a tropical type of thing or... Oh wait, there's one right over here. Oh, there's two. Hold on, now there's a lot of them. It's literally trying to escape me, bro. I don't know if they're programmed to do that, but it's literally running away from me. And there we go. Finally, dude, that took so long. I'm gonna put you right over here and also give you a name tag. Am I right, Squid? Next up, I'm gonna try to get a dolphin. Oh, wait, there's one right over here. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a lead on this guy. Come here. And I'm gonna put you on this Bruh. fence over here. Enjoy yourself, pal. Now we only need to figure out how to get him from here all the way up there. I'm kind of getting the Squid flashbacks, but um, let's try to not make that happen again. I'm gonna take you off the lead, but don't do anything crazy, pal. And that is the dolphin captured over here. What is he doing with that lead? I didn't know they could do that. Hold on, he's just tossing it around. Did you see that? Before we collect the rest of the mobs, though, I kind of want to finish the main aquarium. So I guess I'm going to get to building that now. But even before that, I'm also going to put a turtle egg in one of these. So the turtle has time to hatch and grow up while I'm like building and stuff. Anyways, here's all of the materials that I'm going to need for the main aquarium. So I guess I can just get started on building. Okay, so inside of here, we're going to be putting the blue axolotl as well as some decorations later on. And I don't even think this turned out that bad as I thought it's going to turn out. So I'm kind of happy. But because this is so massive, the only thing that I'm worried about is how we're going to fill this entire thing with water. But I guess that's a worry for later me because I'm going to go ahead and capture some more mobs. First of all, we need to wait until the night yep editor you might want to speed this footage up i don't think people are gonna wait 10 minutes okay there we go and now i just need to get one of these all the way up there into the aquarium and since they actually just follow me this really shouldn't be that hard which i know i've said already for many mobs before but trust me this time it's gonna be really easy so i'm gonna build you a staircase and you just wait over there okay and i just need you to follow me all the way up here now he's gonna turn into a drowned and that is the next mob capture you just thought it was a good idea to punch a full netherite player with a 6000 day hardcore world you think that's a good idea you really think that's how you want to go out anyways in here i want to capture a glow squid so that's gonna be interesting i suppose and because they're found underground i think it's a good idea to make a giant water elevator that is gonna take the glow squid from the cave all the way up into my aquarium we might need a water bucket as well, so I'm gonna grab one of these. Wait, so if I put this over here, it should create a bubble column elevator all the way up to the aquarium. And right over here is a glow squid. Oh wow, there's actually two of them. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on the lead. Don't panic, okay? You're good, you're good. And I just need to get it all the way over here. Can you somehow swim in there? That would be perfect. 
Can you do that? Why are you trying to go away? That only took like 45 minutes of me waiting for this goober to go into the elevator. But I guess that's the glow squid captured. You better stay here, pal. I tell you that. Anyways, next up, we need to collect one of these. And I think that me explaining everything over and over is kind of getting repetitive. So... Wait, I think that this is the first hostile mob we've captured over here. For obvious reasons, I'm not gonna be capturing the Elder Guardian because I just don't want to have mining fatigue all the time, so we're not gonna be capturing that one. But besides that, the only animal we still need to capture are all of the axolotls. I'm gonna put all of the common colors inside of here and then, as I said before, the blue one is gonna go into this giant aquarium. All right, to start the axolotl farm i'm gonna firstly need two of them so let's grab these buckets wait i think there should be a lush cave under here but i'm not really sure oh no oh no i'm not no no please not again so that's one and that is two All right, so here is where I'm gonna be breeding the axolotls. And for that, I'm gonna need a lot of tropical fish. Luckily over here, I have a lot of them left over from the gathering every single fish video. So I think we should be fine with these. I'm not really aware of how many fish we're gonna need, but I feel like that over here should be enough to get one blue axolotl. So three, two, one, and guys, it's been five hours. No blue axolotl anywhere in sight. But I did manage to find all of the other common colors. So these are gonna go in here. Don't kill each other, guys. Just swim here and don't do anything crazy, okay? I'm gonna go back to getting the blue one. All right, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 hours in one second. And there it is. I disapprove 100%. Actually, it happened a lot quicker than I thought it would because I was gonna make this giant rant about how I just spent like 10 hours on this and how I'm so drained and everything, but it happened pretty quickly. It took me only like two hours and a half, so I'm actually kind of happy with this. Anyways, before I put it into this giant aquarium, finish the video and finally get some sleep, there is quite some things we need to do. Okay, so I'm gonna put this entire coral reef Co coral re coral 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 reef coral reef wait where am i gonna put it Number one, yes, I did have to fill this entire thing with water just to put in the corals because otherwise they would dry out. Number two, yes, it did take me like seven hours or something because I am stupid. And number three, yes, I did already build the kelp farm all by myself without even mentioning it even once. I, I didn't feel like recording. What, what about that? What about my, what about me? What about my sanity? Anyways, now there's actually just one more thing to do. 